Hey guys, Scotty Fuquati here with another video, unboxing video, second one. This one is the Isheen Tyro 79. There's been like a million reviews on it and unboxing and whatever. I'm just gonna, just came in, couldn't resist. It was so cheap, why not? So let's do a quick unboxing, see what we get in it. I would do a build video, but there's a million of them out there that are probably better than mine. And gosh, if I did a live video build, there'd be way too much cursing in it, so. I drop my shoes. I'm like, oh, dang, jeez. You know, I'm just, I'm a mess when it comes to that. So, no build video. It'd have to be in like hyperlapse. Okay, let's see here. More tape to open. Uh, as you guys know, I recently got the uh, Isheen. What is that? TS-130. And uh, had to do some modifications to it. After... Getting that build or getting that quadcopter, I have to agree with a lot of other people that it is not for a newbie. You gotta know what's going on with Beta Flight before you actually use that one. But like I said, it, it still came out pretty good, I think. I made some modifications as far as the antenna, that's not coming out. Uh, the ESC capacitor, and like I said, these motors are beyond notchy. Like trying to move them with your finger, it's really difficult. You gotta use two fingers, that's how notchy it is. You can't just spin them like. My RCX is, yeah, very notchy motor. Okay, back to the Tyro 79. Let's see what you get. Get the frame. Nice. Okay, what do you got here? Okay, they have a VTX. I'm going to have to get that. And I actually burnt out my VTX on my other e Sheen, the TS-130, because I was an idiot. I did something stupid. Okay, side plates, our frames. All right. Nuts. Once again, I don't even know why they offer these freaking carbon fiber wrenches that no one ever uses. Okay, so they're the side plates. Bottom piece, strap. I won't be using that strap, it's too small. I'm gonna try to use a, a larger one. See if this one fits, so I can use uh, 850 milliamp batteries. Strap, cable ties, bunch of screws. Okay, oh. And here are, okay, this is the camera that it's got to kind of get mixed opinions. Some of them say it's great. Some people say it's great. Some not. But basically, I'm getting this quadcopter. The reason I got it was really to learn how to fly and just do damage to it. And if I damage it enough, I just get another one. It's so cheap. So it's a flight controller. Ooh, already came with it. I did not know that. I thought that the capacitor was something that you had to solder later but no it's already on there that's kind of sweet right on right on okay so that's that the motors what are we working with here it is come on we have the numbers here I just gotta say it's someplace oh, there we go 1607 yeah, 1607 2800 kvs and they're they're notchy they're i don't know uav futures said that they were really radley but at least they're semi notchy nowhere near as notchy as these the 1507s of the ts130 but still more notchy than my rcx and i love my rcx guys not clowning on an rcx these 1407 3800 kvs have served me well they have not busted. They have taken abuse punishment and still going strong. So, all right. So that's that. And part two, I should hopefully have it together in a few hours and show you what it's like. And that's that. All right. Okay. Stay tuned for part two, guys. Take care. Bye.